I found a video. Uh, the only per people I've seen make videos telling the truth about sleep drugs has been myself. And I found a video of a doctor actually telling the truth about sleep drugs. Um, people out there are chasing the next pill that's going to, that's going to fix them, right? There's, there's a, a super important reason why doctors withhold from prescribing these drugs. I was brought right to the brink of death with being prescribed these medications. I have severe insomnia. I have life-threatening insomnia. And there's a phenomenon when, when someone is suffering from something out there, out there in, in the inter internet world, they will search across social media for one of the, for the, for the, the worst case scenarios, right? So lots of people with insomnia have found me and there, I try to stay away from the insomnia community because people have this misconception that they're chasing the next drug. They're looking for the next powerful drug. No matter what country they're in, people get these weird ideas that something good is being withheld from them. Lots of countries do not sell, for example, Zopaclone. So you'll get these people in, in countries that they hear that and they think, oh, well, that must be something good that my country is withholding from me. So I'm going to try to to find resources outside my country to get access to this drug that I can't get here. People have an idea that doctors or the world or the system is trying to withhold something good from them. I was brought to the br very brink of death with prescribed medications, not because I was abusing them, but because I suffer from life-threatening insomnia and these drugs brought me, these drugs were harming me in many ways. And um, so far, the only people I've seen tell the truth about what these medications can actually do to you are myself and I'll put a link I'll, I'll put a link in the comments of this video. People go to their doctors with insomnia. They're begging for sleeping pills. They want more. They think more is going to do them better. These drugs are not supposed to be prescribed long term for for good reason because they can start to work against you. They can, they literally, like, for example, clonazepam that I was being prescribed and Zopaclone. What these drugs can literally do to you, they can start to reduce the over, literally, you're taking a sleeping pill. They can start to reduce the overall time asleep. They can reduce the time that you're spent in REM sleep and deep sleep and restorative sleep. They can worsen undiagnosed sleep apnea. I believe they can probably cause sleep apnea, but that hasn't been proven yet. They can, uh, I, I was sleep, had severe sleep walking and severe sleep eating for four decades from being prescribed sleep medications. So my brain was being disrupted like in, in countless ways. I was brought to the very brink of death. I had been sleeping three hours a night for years. This brought me to the point where I was only sleeping one hour a night or two hours every 24 hours. I was literally brought to the brink of death or suicide. I was stopping breathing nonstop at night with severe sleep apnea. I was sleepwalking, sleep eating, struggling to breathe, respiratory depression, retaining carbon dioxide, 
low oxygen, critically sleep deprived and suicidal, and nobody could tell what was happening. Nobody wanted to deprescribe. Nobody could diagnose anything. The world thinks that doctors are trying to withhold these goodies from us for some strange reason. You know, people get these weird ideas that doctors are withholding really good things from them. They're withholding them from you because these can be dangerous. These can slowly begin to eradicate your sleep and uh, cognitively impair you, severely impair your memory from day to day, dumb you down, cause you breathing issues. Doctors aren't, aren't trying to withhold something good from you. They're not trying to, you know, withhold the good stuff and give you none of this stuff is meant to be prescribed long term because they can actually cause what they're trying to prevent these medications can worsen your insomnia they can cause depression so i'm amazed to see this doctor below i'm proud of this doctor for speaking about this she puts a spin on it to make it sound like the patient's doing the wrong thing, which is not necessarily true at all. The patients don't have access to high doses of these to abuse them unless doctors, unless they're manipulating doctors, but doctors are often over prescribing these medications. But I do appreciate, she's, she's a good doctor. I appreciate her putting this information. She put a negative spin on the patient, which I, I think she put a negative spin on the patient, but kudos to her for uh, exposing this information.